Hey gang, uh, I'm gonna talk about my bag and kind of what goes with me to every shoot, uh, pretty much. Pretty much everything. Um, I've got this steroid, think tank steroid belt. Uh, a little geeky, but I love it because I could walk away from my bag like today. It's snowing out, we have to do an outdoor portrait. Uh, I may just pack a couple of lenses in there and, uh, and a flash. And this way I don't have to carry my full bag around with me. Um, but, uh, and then it's got the, uh, the spider holster on it. So again, if you, if you need access to your hands, you now I, I have, I could use my hands. You could change the lens on here, grab, grab that another pouch, change the lens. Um, it does have a lock. So if you're moving around a lot, you don't want it to pop out. You could lock it, unlock it, pull it out, use it. Um, great piece of equipment I've had for a long time. It's a little beat up, but, uh, works really great. Um, okay. We already talked about the, uh, the Godox unit, but I've got two Godox 8200s in here, and then a Speedlight 860, which is about 90 watt seconds in the hold, somewhere in there. Um, but the, uh, so aside from the actual flash units, which do stay in this bag, uh, this is a lightwear bag. It's got some padding in it, and it's got some wheels, which is nice. You can roll it, okay? Uh, I've kind of built this kit up over, over a while, just based on, on different things that I, I, I either needed or saw or thought would be cool. Um, so I have a little, little uh, uh, I forget what these things are called, ties. I have a little tie here that signifies that this is the grip side, and then this side is just the other side that I keep uh, a little roll stand. This thing sits real low, so I like you can either go all the way down the ground or come up. Uh, it's a four triple or uh, four riser, so it goes pretty tall. It's small, it's light. Um, it's not a super sturdy stand, but it's great to keep in the bag just to have an extra stand. I've got this gigantic 58 inch umbrella which you can use reflective or shoot through. I've been using this for portraits lately. I really like it, but you have a lot of different applications you could use for that. And then I've got this uh, little backup LED, which you could either shoot uh, warm or daylight uh, balanced. But I bought this from a Delaware camera, pretty cheap. It's like a backup light in case like I forget something or whatever and I, you know, I'm shooting indoors and I, I need a light for something. I keep this guy around kind of for safety. Um, the grip side is kind of uh, a little more complicated. A bunch of little things in here, but uh, stuff I find useful. Uh, microfiber towel, just because. This is part of the go to, or the um, uh, MagMod kit. This is one of those MagMod um, magnifier slash backgrounds. I haven't used it a ton. It's a cool piece of kit. I keep it in here because I keep meaning to use it, but I, I tend not to. This is an umbrella adapter. These things are great. Uh, we'll talk more about that. I mean, you could put like this gator clamp on there, okay? Mount it to a stand, and uh, well, this one actually has a mount on it uh, that they don't all do. But then you could put a, a, a reflector, a reflector board, um, you name it. You know, you can clamp stuff to that. Um, Magmod kits. I've got two of them, so I got two lights pointing at a subject and, and basically uh, side light them. Uh, nice. I just I've always liked that look and basically got two kits so I can mimic that it comes with a grid and then this is a, a, a holder for gels and then this is the adapter that goes on the speed light real quick and easy to use and then I got a bunch of gels it comes with a basic kit that has like CTO and CTB this is green um, ND neutral density this is just a diffuser uh, this is like an orange um, so, you know, I, I typically use them to like mimic, mimic the sun if it's like an overcast day like today, it's snowing, but if I wanted to mimic the sun, shoot it in through a window or put it on a, on a uh, person's back and now it looks like it's sunny out. Here in Buffalo, it's gloomy a lot, so sometimes you want to pretend it's warmer out than it is and it, it's a nice effect for that. Um, but all kinds of creative stuff you could do with the, uh, both the grid as well as the gel. Keep those in there. Uh, here's another one of those umbrella adapters. This one is made by uh, Photix, or yeah, Photix. This one's a Manfrotto. They're metal, they're sturdy. Uh, the 8200s do come with one, but it's plastic and kind of cheap. Um, not to say that I don't use it. Oh, I do. I'm looking for, so I keep these cold shoe adapters in here, okay? Um, I think there's one floating around in here, or I thought there was one floating around in here. 
uh, gaff tape just cause. Um, and then you've got these little uh, baby pins with spigots. This one's double sided. Um, but I typically keep, this is a super clamp, super important. Uh, you can mount a flash on here. Uh, you name it, you can do it. I mean, you put your gator on here and mount this to a wall to put a flat. I mean, the possibilities are endless as to what you might use this or need this for. Um, but the little cold shoe adapter with the baby pin uh, spigot, quarter 20, I believe it's quarter 20. Uh, now you can put a flash on here, okay? Uh, this one is dedicated for, it's got like a, um, uh, an octangle on the bottom of it. Uh, so it's dedicated for the super clamp, uh, but you could take one uh, that's got a, a quarter 20 spigot output and put it in here and then put the cold shoe on it. And I got to find the one actually, I think I just took it off for a demo. Yeah, I got it right here. That belongs in the bag, but this is a little one that's got quarter 20 output cold shoe on it. So, you know, then I can put a flash, a flash on there, but I always keep those in there. Um, just they come in super handy, super helpful. That's what I mount the uh, the, uh, the Godox units to uh, a stand. If I'm just mounting it uh, to a stand, these guys are, are awesome. These are the Westcott um, Rapid boxes. I've got three of them. Um, so this one, I have it labeled on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's. Uh, this one's got. Uh, the baby pin adapter. So one of them is set up, two of them are set up with baby pin adapters and the other two are set up with cold shoe adapters. And I'll show you what I did to make that fly. Uh, I'll grab a stand, I should grab that stand. So this is the adapter plate that comes with the Westcott, okay? And then this is the unit, this little piece here is what comes with the Godox. And so what I did to, so I could use the 8200s with the Westcott units, the little bit bigger flash, things jammed in here. It doesn't fit perfectly, I had to really jam it in there. But I took a baby pin, okay, that's just open-ended on both sides. Uh, one side's quarter 20, the other side, I don't know what it is, I think it's 5 eighths or quarter or something like that. But the quarter 20 fits in the, the OEM pin. And then I just jammed that on there, locked it down. It's been dropped, so this, this thing is bent. Uh, they, they, they do get a little heavy here. I'll, uh, I'll use this stand just because it's a little low and uh, show you what that looks like. So this dude yeah, just goes on the end of a stand. I get a little bit of height on here. Like I said, this stand is not super sturdy. I, I wouldn't probably put this on here, but it's, it's low and convenient. So, um, so yeah, you mount that little sucker on there. I like to put the flash units on first, so I can just get that in there, okay, and then I'll show you the front of the unit. Um, what's so lovely about these, they're a little pricey, I think they're about 150 bucks for the 26 inches, but this is, but, um, and you can see she's getting kind of beat up, this is just taped on here, um, is this is a magnet, so it slides in, and that's it, it's locked in place. Um, I don't know, I think you have to buy these separately, but they're a little reflector dish that makes it quote unquote like a beauty dish because the light is reflecting off the back of the plate. I have my screw taped on there, so it's always on. I know I'll lose it, so I just have to keep it taped in so I can just screw it on like that. And then your diffuser just goes over the front. Now you got a nice soft light you could do a portrait with, you can do a bunch of different things. Uh, I did buy this for extra. They're kind of stupid expensive. I think they're like somewhere between like 40 and 80 bucks. I forget what I paid for it, but a little pricey for, for a little egg crate. But I wanted to be able to control the light in certain situations. So I've got an egg crate on there. And all that sits in that little bag, right? This thing's awesome. So my Godox 8200 with a 26 inch Westcott Apollo. Um, last piece of kit in here that I truly love is I've got two of these in there. Uh, they're getting a little old. I've actually repaired one of them already once, uh, but these Manfrotto uh, B20, or excuse me, 420B Manfrotto light stand. It's got a three and a half or three pound weight on there. So again, when you're, when you're putting the, uh, you know, a, a modifier like this on here, it gives you a little stability if you're outside working by yourself. Um, does have, this is the double-ended uh, baby pen, spigot baby pen. 
So it's got quarter 20. I, I can't remember what that is. I don't know if that's quarter or five eighths. I forget what that is. Um, but so anyway, these guys screw in there and now you've got, you've got, you know, not only do you have the baby pen so you could put whatever, but if you needed to screw something on there, you could do that also. Um, but the cool thing about this stand is that it's basically a junior boom or mini boom. It's got a little, little clip here, watch your ceiling and uh, slide it back. And you can mount a light, or if you wanted to shoot overhead, you could put a camera on there. Just take the three and a half inch or three pound weight, put it on the counter uh, to counter it, and it goes up, right? So you can control it. So really versatile light stand, not too heavy. I have two of those in there, and that's pretty much what I carry with me everywhere I go. So stuff is uh, I've kind of accumulated it. This is the kit that I've kind of ended up with, and it's been real, real good to me. It allows me to just do a lot of different things. In, uh, in whatever scenario you're in, you know, shooting outdoors, shooting indoors, and having to balance tungsten or fluorescent light, um, wanting to be creative, you know, maybe you're shooting against a, a white or gray background, you want to make a background, is what that reflective um, uh, magma kit allows you to do. Just a ton of different possibilities with just, I think, uh, a, a relatively small kit. So that's what I got. I hope you guys find that useful. Thanks.